Welcome to another edition of my Fireside Chat. You know, homecoming is a time-honored tradition at Delta State as it is at most universities. Here are some fun facts about one of my favorite events and times of the year. Eight distinguished alumni will be honored on November the 9th, including our outstanding alumnus of the year and the Alumni Hall of Fame inductees, as well as service award winners. Nine young women will be introduced as homecoming maids with one of them being crowned Miss Green and White at halftime of the football game. 53 groups participated in homecoming parade last year and this year's parade will include 89 entries. The Statesman football team is 54, 29, and one in homecoming matches throughout the years. This year we'll face off against our arch rival, in-state rival, Mississippi College for the 39th time in program history. And the Statesman hold a 21, 15, two advantage in our all-time series versus the Choctaws. 6,555 people attended last year's homecoming football game, and I bet you we topped that this year. Joining me today to talk a little bit more about our upcoming programs for the week and for the weekend are Amanda Robinson, our Director of Alumni Affairs here on campus, and Charlie King, President of the Student Government Association. They'll both tell us about some of the activities that are planned for our 86th annual homecoming. Welcome, Amanda. Thank you for Welcome, having me. Welcome, Charlotte. Thanks Great for being with me. Yep. Tell me, if you will, Amanda, a little bit, uh, some of the events that are scheduled for our alumni, particularly. Yeah, so our events pretty much start on Friday afternoon. It'll start with, um, there will be a reception in the Kent Wyatt Atrium for honoring um, Ryan Myers, and that begins at 3 p.m., and then our alumni awards um, gala begins at 7 p.m. We'll have a social honoring the Golden Circle and the class of 1968 uh, beginning at 5.30, and that will be held at the Cleveland Country Club. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then Saturday's events, there will be um, the Veterans Day event will begin at 9 a.m. at Job Hall, and there will be a breakfast um, sponsored by the Alumni Association beginning at 8.30. And then the parade will begin at 10 a.m., and um, our alumni will have trolleys that will be in the parade this mm -hmm. year. Great. So that's exciting. And then... Um, after that will be um, alumni tailgating at Statesman Park, and that will begin at 12, and then um, kick off at 2. Good. So we'll recognize um, our award winners and um, our Golden Circle members at the game. Generally. So we're excited. That's great. Yeah. Great. Charlie, on the student side, what's planned? What events uh, are the students going to be involved with? Well, President Forge, we have an absolute packed week of events and activities. We're coming off a year without a homecoming theme. This year we have a theme of psychedelic statesmen. So it's going to be kind of similar to the 70s and 80s vibe, but we wanted to incorporate all the great things that happened in that time period in history. So you're going to see people that are going to be dressed up as maybe hippies and maybe people that are dressed up in presidential attire getting ready for the 80s or whatnot. So it's going to be a fantastic week of different costumes and events on campus. The SGA is very pleased to announce we're going to have a lot of games and activities on the quad this year, um, including four large, I think one's even a 75-foot long um, inflatable obstacle course for students to participate in, along with food, candy, crafts, and all this great stuff, just to really incorporate the homecoming spirit going into the weekend against Mississippi College. Uh, we're also very excited to have the entire thing posted on our website page. So if you have not started to follow the Delta State University SGA, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts to get the incomplete, in-depth analysis of every activity that is going to happen this coming week. That's so good. We're very excited about good. it. Good. Tailgating Friday night and Saturday night for all the student groups if they Ab choose. Absolutely. Um, we're expecting all the fraternities and sororities to have their groups out there. We've talked to all student organizations Great. that want to be out there. We might have some new tents coming out this year. So it's going to be a little more diverse than pick picking even. We're trying to get a lot of these um, other groups on campus to get more involved and get tents out there. Right. So it's a much larger, I guess, tent city come this homecoming. We're very good. excited. And I, I would like to thank our student organization chairs for going out and reaching out to all the student activities and um, organizations on campus. Right. They've done a fantastic job and we're very excited to see the results. It's also a great chance to uh, welcome and roll out the red, car the red green carpet for <laughs> our uh, high school seniors who might be visiting and community college transfers who might be coming here next year to let them see a little bit about the Delta Spirit. So Absolutely. That's a great time to do that like that. Amanda, what do our alumni uh, tell you, perhaps whisper in your ear and say, <laughs> Here's my favorite thing at homecoming. What's the best thing about it? What, what do you hear are the, the top things that they really like about homecoming? I think just the presence of being back on campus. I mean, just reminiscing about their times as students at Delta State. I think they really enjoy just being back with their friends that 
maybe they haven't seen several years and then just all the changes that have been made at Delta State since they were That's a good. student. Um, yeah. That's good. Well, it's yeah. a lot of fun. How about students? What do you hear? What students say are their favorite part of it or the thing they look forward to? One of the things everybody looks forward to is our victory over Mississippi College. <laughs> but aside from that, <laughs> I think it's the time of the week that everybody realizes this is going to be one of the pinnacle moments of memories of college. They're going to come yeah. back eventually as alumni association members mm -hmm. and think back to the homecoming weeks. It's going to be one of those cornerstones of memories that they have. Yeah. So going into the week, everybody's very excited. They're excited to make the memories. They're excited to meet new friends. And they're excited to have the conclusion of the week, of course. We want to keep that Herrick Bell here. Absolutely. You know, yeah, absolutely. We don't have to give that up to those guys down in Clinton. Yeah, uh, we'll be, yes, exactly. We need to keep it up here. Okay. okay, now who's in charge of good weather? Yeah. Who's going to claim that? that? I, I have no resources to control yeah. that. I have tried, um, but it's not going to Well, I'll tell you what. I'll take all the blame or credit Thanks. for the Sounds presidential good. office. Yes, you guys do what you have to do. Thanks very much for being with me, and let's have a great weekend. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Thank Appreciate you so much. It. In other news on campus, uh, our pre-registration is going on this week. And you may notice all around campus, uh, orange signs everywhere reminding our students that it's time to pre-register for next semester. Students, go see your advisor soon to register for the spring 2019 semester. And I want to thank uh, our members of our staff over in Student Success and other offices on campus for helping us promote pre-registration. It's a very important effort for us to get our students pre-registered, yes, but also it helps with retention, keeping our students in school on the path to graduation. And for our students who plan to graduate in December, the deadline to turn in to the fall 2018 graduation application is this Friday. The Wiley Planetarium will show the program November Sky on Friday, November the 9th at 6 o'clock. Tickets are $3 for adults and a dollar for children, seniors, and anyone holding an OPA card. Tailgating will be at our ball game this weekend for homecoming beginning around 11 or 12 o'clock that morning. Uh, and then the Statesman football kickoff will be at 2 o'clock against our arch rival Mississippi College. Please join us there. And as always, to keep up with our events and activities and news on campus, just go to our website at deltastate.edu. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again on the next time, the next time for an edition of Fireside Chat. In the meantime, happy homecoming.